I did want to ask you about Juliet Naked. Yes. This is a film based on a book written by Nick Hornby, and it is about an obsessed fan of a uh, of a reclusive uh, musical artist uh, who maybe made a few records a long time ago and then disappeared, sort of like a Nick Drake-ish yeah. type character played by Ethan Hawke. And you play the obsessed fan who has a girlfriend who tolerates you. And it made me curious right off the bat if there's ever been a time in your life where you have been obsessed with something or somebody. In my early 20s, I became a little bit obsessive about like um, Philip Seymour Hoffman and John C. Riley and the kind of way that they worked. And then went down a bit of a Phil Hoffman rabbit hole and found out that he ran a theater company and would fly to America to watch his plays, production. It's, you did? Yeah. Um, when I was working bar, so I, it was like a, it was a big output. So you were obsessed? I think I probably was, yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know, I would think that being an actor is sort of part of your job has to be to be obsessive also about the material and about the... Yeah. But in this case, your character's obsessiveness uh, makes you a bit unlikable. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a conversation that we would have where it's, we don't want this to be a lovable character because of things that he does and the way that like Rose's character reacts to him you you want to be on Rose's side you know yes. and that's how the movie's going to work and this guy what i like about Duncan in the movie the character that i play he very he's one of those people who has decided you are what you like because he doesn't have the emotional intelligence to kind of realize that you are what you do and how you behave and all of these things he's like these movies are good therefore i'm a good person the music I like is good music, therefore I'm a good person. And can still people treat actual human beings around him like I'd feel like he's still a good person and he's not doing anything wrong. And that's much more of a like a modern development, I think, in people that we are our art or we are, like I'm, we talk about whatever we're watching on Netflix more than we do about how our sister is doing. Right. Yeah, and of course we are, uh, in our thing, we're, we're somewhat uh, the, the, the reasons for that. Like we're selling entertainment and we're kind of like people are being bombarded with what to watch and what to, to listen to and all of that. So we are the, the great pirates of non-human emotion. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's Ahoy! <laughs> Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>